Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and in this video I'll show you how to launch your own 0.5 Alpha Warcraft server using the new repack from Britannia. In case you don't know what I'm actually on about, you can start a 0.5 Alpha private server on your own computer and then log into that server and have a look around the 0.5 Alpha client from 2003. The reasons for doing this that you might want to see how the game looked back then or you might like the idea of having a version of Warcraft that you can open up even while offline. Whatever the reasons, let's get into this because it's really easy. Then after, I'll tell you about the limits of what you can and can't do with this. There are three download links in this video's description. I've personally uploaded two of them myself and the other is from Microsoft, so I know the links won't go down anytime soon. First of all, you'll need the 0.5 Warcraft client. If you already have this from like 2019 or before, then you might just need to update the wow.ses file. But this version is patched, so some of the old errors have been fixed. It won't stretch the game screen because it's set to run in square windowed mode. It doesn't have the send to Tim Windows messages when you open it. And finally, you don't need to run a shortcut with an exception in the title. You just click the client executable and it works. Anyway, once you've downloaded the client, your folder containing the client should look pretty much like this. Now, before we go on to the server repack, I'd advise making sure that you have the Microsoft.NET Framework Windows update installed. If you don't have it or not sure what that is, I've put a link in the video description. You only want the runtime version. Basically, this is just a package of files from Microsoft that lets Windows run programs that use the .NET Framework. You don't have to know anything about it, but without this, some home-coded network programs don't work properly. So now the last thing we need is to get the Britannia server pack. Again, the link is in the description. This is the server code itself. It's called a repack because you don't need to know any SQL, you don't need to compile any code, you don't need to know anything. The databases, server code and libraries are all packed into one application which just runs itself. Once this has been downloaded and you've popped it somewhere on your computer, your folder should look like this. So here we go, let's run this thing. First of all, you want to open the start my SQL from the repack. Once that is running, we want to open up weld server from the repack. The weld server program actually takes about a minute to be fully up and running but you'll know when the weld server is up properly because you'll see in the window a system message saying the amount of mem total memory shown. So now we're ready to open the wow client file from our Warcraft client folder. If you're using the pre-patched client that I recommended just hit login and begin. You don't need a username or password that's all been sorted for you. You can see a number of pre-made characters which you can use but you're fine to create your own well that's as far as getting this all up and running is concerned let's move on to what you can and can't do with this set so you can walk around the world you can see zones that blizzard are not finished like hydro that still needed work or winter spring which is suffering from green snow to help with getting about there's a few console commands you can use first of all press the act key on your keyboard that will bring up the command console from here you can type speed then a value between one and 40 to move at different speeds. You need a separate command to increase swim speed and for that you just type in swim speed and then a value between 1 and 40. But by far the most useful is the weld port function. If you look in the game's client folder that you downloaded you'll see a text file called teleport. This text file contains a coordinates to many different locations in the game. To use them just copy the chords like you can see me doing on screen now then open the command console in the game and type like weld port then put a space then paste the chords from the text file and then press enter there is one other way to get about in this version within the eastern kingdoms that's simply by clicking on the map less than half the zones actually support this form of teleportation so using weld port normally ends up being much easier the other form of traveling that you might think of would be to use a flight master but this server core doesn't allow use of flight masters so you'll just have to stick to weld ports as far as trying to play the game don't don't go into this expecting to do that. Some very basic quests do work, but most fail in one way or another. So you can accept the quest to find Pelt Skinner around the side of Norshire Abbey. You find him and you can complete that quest. But the quest he offers involving looting wolves for their hide and giving him eight hides just bugs out when you try to hand it in. That 
that's even if you manage to get eight wolf hides. As a melee class, I can't even tack the mobs, let alone loot them. So I tend to create caster classes like a mage. Then you can attack the mobs, and spells like fireball don't seem to miss. But once you've beaten a mob, being able to loot them is a game of Russian roulette. You can either loot them and everything is fine, or you get the mob loot bug, and your character begins an eternal crouch. You can't loot this or any other mob, and only by logging out then in will fix it. I was never able to actually get eight wolf hides by the normal method, so I just spawned them. You can spawn any item in the database by typing dot add item and then the item ID number into the chat box. The way I look up an item ID number is simply by checking something like Classic DB and looking at the URL of an item. So here, this item, the copper chain vest, in the URL, it says the item ID is 3471. So to spawn on this item, just type dot add item 3471. You can spawn gold in much the same way, just type dot money then a number. The number refers to how many copper pieces you want to give to yourself, so dot money 100 will give you one silver. The command to level up is very similar, just type dot level followed by a number. Whatever number you put in, that's what level your character should be. I haven't actually checked, but I'm pretty sure the maximum level is 255, that's the high you can go. A few little things. Chests are empty. Monsters don't aggro, but you can enter some instances. Like here, you see me running through the dead mines. If for some reason you die, you can just respawn right there and then. That's pretty much all there is to tell you about the Alpha Repack. It's not super stable, cough too loud and you'll crash the world server, but it's still miles more advanced than a sandbox emulator and is a taste of things to come in the future from the Alpha project. I'll leave you with some areas you might want to explore in this version. Uh, bye.